Welcome back, we're here looking at the end of the season. This is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, May 31, 2022. If you like support channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Hit the like button to develop and to see our newest videos and all my trades and, uh, and portfolio are available in the link down below. So welcome to say. Let's go and look at the NASDAQ. And uh, as you can see, we, well, it's basically Memorial Day in the United States today, so there was not that much uh, action. But we did rally up towards 12.8K uh, and then gave most of those gains back. We are approaching the 50 moving average, and that is um, where we'll most likely find a major resistance. So we have broken above the middle of the bullish band. The top of the bullish band is also right underneath the 50 moving average. So we may rally up towards the 50 and then pull back, breaking above the 50 moving average and then the 200 moving average uh, may well come into play. And if we get rejected there, then we, we pull back yet again. It's basically not until we basically break above uh, these candlesticks here that we are most likely going to change a, see a shift in in uh, in the Nasdaq, but we are still in a bear market, and uh, bear market rallies they can be significant. We have seen this one, we have seen this one, then we pull back quite significantly, and I wouldn't be surprised if we pull rally to the 50 or 200 before continuing even further down. If we look at the uh, MACD, we can see that MACD is bullish at this point. Stochastic is turning around, but it's still bullish in, in uh, bullish territory. And the RSI is technically flattening out here as well. So momentum kind of is turning slowly, but it's not until uh, tomorrow and or um, that we'll see if, whether or not we continue up or basically we turn around here and head back south. So let's look at the S&P 500, very similar here. We did rally up towards the 50 moving average. And that is probably also where we'll find a massive amount of resistance. 200 moving average above as well. So we may rally up towards the 50 when we pull back or towards the 200 and pull back. And it's technically not before we break above the 200 moving average that we go and retest these previous highs here and continue higher. There's just too much um, bad news uh, or the bad news for the outlook for the world economy uh, going forward. So so at this point, I think we're just going to see more of the same rally up to major uh, resistant uh, moving average and then just continuing in this fashion towards the downside. If you look at the MACD, it is still bullish, stochastic is bearish and the RSI is flat at this current stage. If you look at the Dow Jones, it's even more uh, bearish at this point. So this rallied up towards the 50 and then pulled back quite aggressively. You can see the stochastic is crossing the signal line here, something that we may see for the NASDAQ and the S&P 400 the next few trading days. And if that is the case, then that could be a signal that we are running out of, we are uh, running into major resistance and we are pulling back. So 50 moving average looks like off is offering quite a lot of resistance. Then we have the 200 moving average. And after that, we have these uh, double tops here or this area here, which offered quite a significant amount of resistance in the past. So also here rallying, continuing to find major resistance at the 50 and the 200 moving average and it could look something similar to this or rally up towards the 200 and then continue further to the downside. It's not until we basically break above here that we will continue to the upside. So looking at the, the DAX and the DAX gapped up and then rallied and then continued rallying at the end of uh, the session. So we are approaching an area where we have been finding significant amount of resistance in the past. We saw it right here and also over here and also over here. So we may pull back from here. If we continue rallying and the 200 moving average up here should offer also quite a lot of, of resistance. So we did break above the 50 moving average. We have been trading above the 50 moving average for the last three trading days, uh, but 
we'll see tomorrow basically where we are going with this. Um, European economy is still much worse off than the US economy, uh, but breaking about the 200 moving average, then we may go back towards the, these very high it again. If we look at MACD, is still bullish, Stochastic is uh, bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. And we're getting fairly close to being overbought as we did rally quite significantly. To the downside, breaking below the 50, then we could open the door yet again towards the lows here of 13.3, and then after that, towards 12.4. Uh, if you look at the VIX, VIX is finding uh, support at the 50 moving average which kind of was expected breaking below here well then we are opening the door to the 200 moving average and that is most likely where we'll find the VIX uh, starting rallying yet again as it has been doing for a really long time now so yes it got very very overstretched and it has been doing this for quite some time now we can see that going back and forward to the top and the bottom of the Bollinger Band and this is just a continuation of these moves and then we will most likely see this rally yet again and if that is the case then we are going to see these tech stocks um, or tech stocks and also these indices uh, fall significantly as the fair factor increases so we're taking a breather in the market uh, if we break below the 200 moving average and then we will see more green if we turn around here they will mostly see more red. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, Stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. If you we look at the US 10 year, uh, we still have the same analysis. We went all the way up towards 3.348 and then broke down yet again. We are trading underneath the 50 moving average, but we have tested this area here quite some time. Um, if we break further, then the Fibonacci retracements come into play and the 200 moving average yet again. If you look at the MACD, it's still bearish, stochastic is bearish, and the RSI is flat at this current stage. So, hope you find this helpful. If you always support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. Good luck, and thank you very much.